Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So today we're going to have a quick maintenance, again just a estimated period of 2 hours from 3pm UTC to 5pm UTC and with it comes a retroactive fix to those golden companions. Those of you who got them within their magnificently magnificent lockbox, you were able to get these golden companions from there. They were previously not claimed to be account wide, they are in fact and they were actually when you claimed it just immediately binding to your character meaning that when you went and opened this pack intending to let's say sell this companion you weren't able to do so since it was immediately bound to your character again it's not this nox choice pack it's the magnificently magnificent pack the one you can get from that limited time lockbox and it also had the bug where the only thing you could do was once you've gone and had that automatically bound to your character you basically could only summon it. You were only able to summon this golden companion, but you weren't able to slot in its equip power. This one right here from the Deep Crow was 7.5% awareness. Now those golden companions are like really good right now, mainly due to the fact that this cat gives this bonus to combat advantage, the bullet gives the bonus to outgoing healing, and the Deep Crow gives the bonus to awareness. And it's all dedicated to just that stat. And then they also have this enhancement, which again gives like the Deep Crow to awareness, your cat to your combat advantage, your bullet to that outgoing healing and then same if you were to use these as active companions you'd gain that massive boost to those same statistics again for each of those companions and the golden goat giving that forte which can be useful but not really since it will give those defensive stats if you're a dps you can see forte is divided up depending on your class and for example from a tank right here it gives defense crit severity and awareness where I'll gain crit severity, but won't benefit too much of it. Sure, I'll gain a bit more aggro, but otherwise, if I'm just trying to build defensively, I won't gain any benefit from that. Now, on top of that, the Corbin, the Venerated, which we get from that Echoes of Prophecy from the second part, wasn't actually giving you the benefit of its utility power in terms of item level. That should also now properly be fixed. Now, there has been some event food, namely the Moshi, the Ninjango, and the Fizzy Brew, they've all been adjusted so they won't work within your Reaper's Challenge anymore. There are still a few foods that I believe still work. I guess we can expect those to be added to the list sometime in the future when the devs hear about it. And also those of you who have VIP rank 3 or higher, we can go and now properly go to the supply section of the Zen Market and purchase a bag of holding and this should technically be discounted by 50% as we can see by this advertisement. Unfortunately right now it's still costing 500 Zen. Again I've already made a video on these bags and why you shouldn't actually buy them. By all means do so if you need that instant inventory space you're, if you're filling up way too much and you have nowhere to put things otherwise you're definitely better off making characters as i suggested in that previous video now finally i want to go over this very annoying loadout bug sometimes you won't be able to switch to a certain loadout you may get the error that won't allow you to switch to that given loadout and now i'm going to go and actually cause that for you guys we can see we have the deep crow here on my single target build and in my aoe build i have the same stock for my deep crow but let's say i go switch this to the batiri and i'll put the deep crow down here so now we have the deep crow there and if i want to go and switch to my single target loadout it's up here now what can happen is when you have those companions in those different slots you won't be able to switch and that can be very annoying you can see right now i can't switch back to my aoe build and that is because i have this golden deep coat in a different slot so it runs into an error where it can't go and find the deep crow because it's already slotted in but in a different slot to avoid this bug make sure if you have companions that are the same try and have them in the same slot so the way i have to fix this is switch to a completely different build or i could simply click apply to all loadouts which means all of those companions will get shuffled and put in the exact same slots so we could either hit that button or i could switch to let's say my healer build where i don't have that golden deep crow slotted i do have this normal deep crow and then i could switch back to my aoe build which has the golden deep crow here if i'm trying to switch to my single target build it does work but apparently not back to the aoe build as you can see i can just keep trying 
and try and it won't switch loadout. I have to switch to an alternative one. And this can be very frustrating and annoying since buying these loadouts you can see in the Wonders Bazaar will cost you the Astral Diamonds. It's not such a bad cost. We can see it costs you 300,000 with a rank 12 VIP, but otherwise 400,000. But that's four days grinding of that rough Astral Diamonds if you can do all your random queues. So again, the way to fix this bug is to make sure you have those companions slotted in the same slots as your other characters loadouts so again if i have a single target and also a aoe loadout for my tank i need to make sure that these companions are in the same slot so switching my single target power i have the iron golem presence there and i switch back to my aoe it will automatically fill a slot if you don't have it filled like right there so another easy way to do it would be let's say i can just clear all of these slots that say they're different to my other loadout I can switch to the loadout where I want all those slots to be exactly the same and ta-da. Again, if you're DPS, you might want the Batiri in one slot. You might want the Minsk in another for single target, whereas you want other bonuses then for AoE. But again, if you have any companion enhancements in the same loadouts, but in different slots, then you're going to run into that bug where you can't switch loadout. So here we can freely switch between those loadouts because those companions are all in the same slots. And that is what has been causing this major issue between switching loadouts. And this is a very simple fix right there. But again, that's temporary. And they're intending, as we can see here, to actually work further on this and make it finally to not run into this error. But this is a temporary solution which can work. And as long as you have it set up correctly, that you have these companions in the same slots as your other loadouts, you should be perfectly fine. Again, if you just have complete different companions, as you can see between my healer and my tank, you shouldn't run into any issues there. It's just if you have one companion in two loadouts, but in different companion enhancement slots, you run into that problem. Hopefully that's been somewhat clear and I haven't confused you there on how to fix this switching loadouts. Again, the very simple option is to apply to all loadouts with this button here. It's very annoying though when you want specific companions in different loadouts. So again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this work, well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. See you guys around. Goodbye for now.